Lesson 103 is about terms and adding like terms, part 2. Let's just talk about terms there for a minute in part A. It says we remember that terms of an algebraic expression are separated by plus and minus signs. So the, this expression that they show you there at the beginning, that has six terms in it. And you can simplify that expression by combining like terms. And you learned how to do a problem like that back in lesson 96 if you need to review that about adding like terms. Now if you have that next relationship there, 4xy plus 6yx. Let's just write that down. Those are really like terms there. They may not look like it right now, but if you think about it, if you rearrange them and put them both in alphabetical order, so the 4xy, the x and y, they're already in alphabetical order. Do the next one the same way, 6xy. Remember, you're really saying 6 times y times x. So in multiplication, order doesn't matter. So you can rearrange it, and you can say 6xy. Now, you can clearly see that both of them have xy, or x times y in them. And so they are like terms. They have the same variables multiplied together, so they are like terms. And so we can add them. Add their constants or coefficients. 4 and 6 is 10 xy. And so that would be the simplification of that problem there. Now if you have this relationship, 4xy squared plus 6x squared y, those are not like terms because one has just an x to the 1, the other one has x to the power of 2. And then the one on the left has y squared, and the other one just has y to the power of 1, or y. So those are not like terms there, so we can't add them. That problem is as simplified as it will get. So in this lesson, you'll be combining what you've learned from two previous lessons, adding like terms from back in lesson 96, and then multiplication of exponential expressions, what you learned in lesson 102. And like what I did on this one to, to see that I had like terms, I rearranged them into alphabetical order first. That's what you should do as well when you do these problems. So let's go ahead and do the practice problems. So these practice problems, they say to simplify by adding like terms. And so practice problem A, what we'll do is we'll simplify each individual term first, and if we need to anyway, and write the variables in alphabetical order. So that first term there, 3yxy, we have two y's and one x in there, all multiplied together. So we say 3xy squared. And then the next one, plus 2 xyx. So we have two x's and one y. So we say 2x squared y. And then the next term is already simplified and in alphabetical order. So we say minus 6xy squared. And then the last term there, 3y squared x, we can rearrange the variables to put them in alphabetical order. So we say plus 3xy squared. And so now we've simplified them all. There are all the variables are in alphabetical order. So we can clearly see that we have three terms there that have an xy squared in them. Positive 3xy squared, negative 6xy squared, and a positive 3xy squared on the end. So let's go ahead and add those together. 3 and a negative 6 is a negative 3, and then a positive 3 that's 0. Negative 3 and positive 3 is 0. So the xy squared terms go away. And so we can put blocks around those and the signs that are in front of them and scratch them out. And so we're left with 2x squared y. So that's our answer. Positive 2x squared y. Let's do b. Simplify each term as we go. x times x times x is x cubed. Plus 3x squared times x, that's 3x cubed. Plus 4x cubed. 
plus 2xy and then we'll make that a 3xy instead of a 3yx minus 3xy okay so we see three terms that have x cubed in them the first three so we can add those together we understand there's a one in front of that x cubed we just don't write the one so we say one plus three plus four is eight x cubed and then we can go ahead and cancel those out and we're left with 2xy and negative 3xy so that would be a negative 1xy or just negative xy we don't have to write the one down and so that's our answer in simplified form 8x cubed minus xy then let's do C first term has a y squared xy so put the x first and then y cubed the next term is x squared times y squared and the last term is negative 5x cubed y we don't need to change that one now we don't have any like terms here the first term has an x the second term in x squared, the third term in x cubed. None of these are like terms. So we just leave the answer like that. That's the simplified form. There were no like terms to add. Okay, well that's all for lesson 103.